in gravity? You mean to tell me you believe that there is a downward force caused by the mass of the Earth, and yet somehow, clouds can float above the surface? You should be ashamed of yourself! The idea! The reason why clouds are able to float above your head is because they exist in an environment of gently rising air that overcomes the downward force of gravity. Oh no! <laughs> These people are going to tell you that gravity is responsible for gluing your atmosphere to the surface of a spinning rock in a vacuum. So? But that atmosphere is able to hold up 1.1 million pounds of water as it attempts to fall back down to the Earth. So? Let's talk about gravity, shall we? Let's do a head count here. They say that gravity is the bending and warping of space-time. Let's get this over with, shall we? Never mind the fact that time is an illusion and space is essentially nothing. Duly noted and ignored. Now, obviously, only a fool would believe that. Well, ain't no fool, dumbass! <laughs> How do you explain that Earth is sitting on the space-time to bend and warp the space-time to get other objects to orbit it? Give me a break and shut up. In order for the warping of space to be downward so an object can orbit it, there has to be an up or a down. That's some weak-ass bullshit, you bitch-ass motherfucking busters. Sun and the Earth physically have to sit on the fabric of space. What did you say? I believe he said, that is some weak-ass bullshit. Was that it, G-Baby? Yeah, let's see. If these objects were in space-time and not on space-time, they would not create a dip. Instead, they would create an outward bulge that would repel other objects. You stand convicted of assholism. And as ridiculous as this theory of gravity is, they still use it as a catch-all for all of the problems the globe faces. Ah, arrogance and stupidity all in the same package. How efficient of you. They actually say that gravity drags airplanes sideways as they fly over a rotating Earth, and this is why we don't notice any motion when we're not on the ground. Wow. What a hole. Even though air pressure is the collision of tiny molecules of gases with the walls of the container containing the gases, these people will actually tell you that gravity keeps this air pressure glued to a spinning rock in a vacuum. What the fuck is your problem? All atoms and molecules in the Earth's atmosphere are held by the gravitational force of the planet. Asshole! You would never in a million years expect your car tire to hold air or a balloon to hold air if you poke a hole in it. Asshole! But how in the world are we really expected to believe that our atmosphere does not have any container, it's in a vacuum and we still have gas pressure? Oh! <laughs> no. I give up! I give up! I give up. Get me out of here.